Okay, I've just emptied this bottle of wine out. Now this is um, a bottle of wine that I made two years ago. This is plum wine. Okay, this was not from last year, but from the year before. It's been waiting um, up in my uh, room, just kind of aging because it wasn't very nice up until about now. Now here's the thing. I've just poured it into this jug because you have you, you get one pour from a bottle uh, because, <clears throat> because there's a little bit of sediment in the bottom. And... Uh, so you only get one pour. So as soon as you tip back, uh, it mixes up with the sediment. So you, you pour it all out into a jug, rinse out the bottle, and then you can pour it back without the sediment. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because, look at this. I've just poured this into this jug. And what I've got here is a sparkling wine. I've actually made a sparkling wine, and I don't know how. I have no idea why this is a sparkling wine, but it is. If you look at that I'm um, you can see very much it's doing the sparkly wine thing uh, with the little bubbles and when you taste it you get the rush of bubbles it's not it's not particularly that sweet it's um it's a little bit on the sharp-ish side so you need a bit of lemonade with it just to kind of give it uh, a little bit of a sweetener and uh, when you add just a dash of lemonade this is a cloudy lemonade so it'll make it go cloudy but it just makes it oh makes it really yummy and it is incredibly strong one one glass of that and it's like you've had about two glasses of normal wine so good stuff in that respect but anyway, if anybody knows, I, I actually quite like sparkling wine. So if anybody knows how to make sparkling wine intentionally, um, because I've made this accidentally, I, I would be really, really interested in uh, hearing from you what, you know, what technique you use. I mean, basically all I did with this was I got plums, um, mixed them with, uh, you know, got the juice out of the plums, mixed them with water, chucked in uh, the yeast and a load of sugar water, mixed it up, let it brew for, I don't know, six months. Um, and now I think what I did, what I what I normally do is I top up more sugar water, kick it off, and let it have a second fermentation. And it and what I found is it makes a really really strong concoction. Um, and I think that's all I did with this. And then I bottled it off. It didn't taste very nice. I think what I'd, what I'd done is I'd, I'd let it use up all the sugar because um, normally what you do is you kill off the yeast before it uses all the sugar. So you've still got a bit of a sweetness to the wine. But I think I used let it use up all the sugar. So it's quite non-sweet um, but then yeah like I said I just bottled it up and I've left it for literally two years it was it so about so about a year and a half bit bit more than a year and a half and this is the result of what I got so uh, any wine makers out there um, if you know how to make sparkling wine intentionally um, or let me know what it is you think I might have done in order to warrant this sparkling wine effect i'll be really interested to, to, to hear from you it's going to my head already <laughs> okay that's it nice short one thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video